Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making light and fluffy popovers. So let's get started. First off, we're gonna place a rack at the very bottom of our oven and preheat to 450. It needs to be low and very hot to make these guys rise up. I also wanna mention that we're using a popover pan today. This is like a muffin tin, but there's more space in between for a lot more airflow, and they're much deeper. You can make this with a regular muffin tin, they're not gonna be quite as sky high. So just FYI, I'll talk more about this part later. Next up, we're prepping our popover pan. So you can butter this, I'm using baking spray. You just wanna be pretty liberal with your application because they can be sticky. You don't want them to stick in there after making them. That would be horrible. And you notice I'm getting the top lip as well because these popovers rise up and they'll touch the rim. I'm also making some popovers in a regular muffin tin. So I'm gonna do the same, prep that out, and have that ready. We'll see how they turn out. Set these aside and let's get a blender out. This will blend right up in your bowl and be super easy. In our blender, we're adding four eggs. They should be room temperature. Room temperature eggs always blend better with other things. That's why we use them in cakes and muffins. If yours are ice cold, you can set them in some warm water for a little bit. Okay, three and four. Popovers are so delicious. They have them at fancy restaurants and they look intimidating, but they're beyond easy. They're easier than muffins. Now we need one and a half cups of milk. That's 360 ml. All right, right there. I'm also adding in three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. This is kosher salt, it has larger grains. If you're using a fine table salt, go ahead and use like half a teaspoon, it's very salty. All right, we're gonna blend this up right now. <laughs> Today we're making a traditional popover, but there are so many variations. You could add cinnamon and give it a little bit of a sweet note. You can add various types of cheeses. There's herbed ones. You can let me know in the comments if there's a favorite addition that we should try out too. All right, that's nice and blended. I'm adding one and a half cups or 180 grams of flour into the bowl of my blender. We're gonna blend this up for 15 seconds. I know a lot of my friends from the UK on Instagram had many thoughts about popovers because they look so much like Yorkshire pudding. But Yorkshire pudding is actually a little bit different from a popover. In that recipe, you pour the batter into beef drippings and it bakes up and it's like a beautiful side dish for supper. Popovers are kind of like to be enjoyed throughout the day. They are their own delicious thing and there is butter instead of the beef drippings. You can let me know if you'd like to see a Yorkshire pudding recipe on the channel. Okay, this batter gets finished off with three tablespoons of melted butter. In you go. It's like 10 or 15 more seconds to mix it in. Pour this into your prepped pans. We're gonna fill these up close to full, but just make sure they're nice and even for those six wells. The pressure, like, oh my gosh, how even was I? Close to even. Get out. It's okay, I think I overfilled them just a little bit, so just like a tablespoon too much in each. There we go. They're filled almost all the way up. I also made some extra batter for my muffin tins. Right now we're gonna pop those in. There's one crucial step you do after baking to prevent something horrible from happening. There we go. Okay. These go into our hot oven 450 bottom rack. Be careful, let's go. That's 450 for 20 minutes. Then without opening the oven, never open the oven with popovers, you reduce the temperature to 350 and bake for an additional 18 to 20 minutes or until they're puffed up and golden. Then the final step. My popovers are out of the oven. Look, they rose sky high and the muffin tin ones did really nicely as well. So the last step is to get a sharp knife and you've got to poke fairly large holes in every popover so the steam releases. Otherwise, they'll collapse right away and get soggy. Popover pan, muffin tin, these are both gonna taste delicious. Clearly the popover pan makes giant ones and the muffin ones are slightly smaller, but still amazing. 
Enjoy plain or slather in butter and jam and light, airy, and amazing. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. And if you like this video, check out my Easy Bread playlist.